Oh, hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to my channel. Um, what I wanted to do today, um, I know I usually do an intro talking to camera, but um, I just wanted to go through this kit. And this is the, the infamous now, I would say, um, the 124 Supermarine Spitfire kit by FX. Absolutely stunning kit. Um, I've had this since last year um, when it came out. Um, absolutely brilliant kit. I'm not going to do an unboxing of it um, because uh, there's loads out there on, on uh, YouTube. Um, you know, quite a few people have, have done the unboxing, people out there have done the build, so I'm not really going to go there. But what I wanted to do is go through a couple of aftermarket parts that I've got that I think are really good. So I'll move this out of the way and we'll have a look at the bench and uh, we'll see what we got. Right, so the first thing I've got is uh, this from Airscale. Um, it's a cockpit upgrade for the Mark 9 for the Airfix kit. And if you've not seen Airscale stuff before, uh, I highly recommend it. Really, really good stuff. Um, just give you a quick rundown of what's in the pack if I can um, come out come out come out come out right okay so so you have these awesome um, etch parts so you've got the instrument panel there um, there's a backing plate there and then the inserts that go on to there and a number of other parts it's really hard to show this because this glare is, is phenomenal but there's also brackets there that that go on into the cockpit look at the glare on that fantastic um also in in the pack that you get and they're really the air scale stuff is, is just the bees knees it really is so there's decals there that go into position on the on the instrument panel. There is also let's get that out as well. So there's the cover for the decals. There's also a thin, thin, thin piece of acetate um, that goes um, between the instrument panel, the decal, and then the top cover. And their instructions there just basically shows you what the layout is and what the, the additional brackets that they've provided here. So we've got a PE part and a detail part. And there's also parts here for the internals on in the cockpit. So that, that I mean, this absolute left, left side wall and right side wall. Um, the seat bulkhead. Uh, and the brackets there and then your, your main instrument console there um, and there's also a, part, a couple of parts there for the sliding hood so you know excellent excellent stuff if you've got the 124 kit um, to be honest I, I've had it a while but what I wanted to do was was one wait for this to come out and the other I'll move this over quickly um, just in case you you wonder if you're here in the UK um, you can get it from uh, airscale.co.uk and I think the price all up for that including shipping uh, was 20 pound 40 pence and it, it you know if you've got a you know the the airfix kit is 80, 80 odd 90 pound something like that I forget what I paid for it um, I got it from Hans. I think it was that I got it from. I, I can't remember now. Yes, I got it from Hannons, and um, I got it for eighty-five pounds um, because it was a discount by ordering it early from Hannons. Um, the other thing that I got, and I've been waiting for, is this. This is uh, seat belts from a, um, from HGW. Um, if you've not used their seat belts before. Um, these are the bees knees I won't open the packet they're basically 
fine cut cloth um, seat belts and they come with a photo etch brackets and, and buckles and stuff um, they're absolutely brilliant this, these seat belts um, they come in all sorts of scales um, but I think they go down to 148, 132nd, obviously 124 um, and there's an instruction sequence there so you're actually creating cloth seat belts um, and to be honest with you with the with the airfix kit I know it comes with the plastic seat belts in it but for a kit that size and with that amount of detail if I'm adding the air scale instrument panel and that detail these had to be a must um, I've used these before on a number of kits um, 148th, 132nd and, and 124th when I built the Airfix um, Typhoon um, there's an act of putting them together but it's not difficult um, it's tricky but it's not difficult but it makes so much difference to the kit um, I will be building my, my 124th Spitfire at some point I don't know when but uh, yeah definitely um, I would highly recommend these these are I can say these are available from Hammonds but you can order them directly from HGW's um, website there's one of those QR code things there so if I hold that there if you want to pause that and then pick up on that it should take you to their website um, but apart from that you know they are they are the nuts if you're building the Spitfire anyway it was just a quick update um i hope you enjoyed that i hope it's useful to you and uh when i get on to building my spitfire we'll go through these again in detail thanks for watching stay safe out there and bye for now